But it doesn't end there. They partially invalidate whites. They step on their toes as well, because if you want to get something back to base quickly, which would you rather? A Pikmin that can run fast but has to go through standard locked-in paths, or a Pikmin that can fly and can take every shortcut under the sun? Every single time, you're going to want the shortcuts, because those are also usually safer. Hi. Madam, now have your egg, please. Thank you. But it doesn't stop there. There's more. They also are some of the best fighters, or at least they were in Pikmin, in Pikmin 3. Because they have, even though, that's a shock thing, isn't it? What is that? A bubble hazard? Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, come back, come back, come back, come back. Uh, throw, 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 throw. Okay, that's a hazard that Rock Pikmin would be immune to. That's kind of, that's actually really creative. Okay. But they're also some of the best fighters, because while they do less damage, I think they dealt ha half the damage of, uh... You had that inside of you? I think I actually put you out of your misery there. I am sorry. Actually, you know what? You're welcome. Anyway, they're some of the best fighters as well, because while they, <coughs> they deal less damage, they have unmitigated access to every enemy. So imagining, or, or imagine a, um, imagine a burrowing snagrit. You, the fact that you can just swarm their head while they're up means that it can't attack your Pikmin, and you get to attack it without having to aim, and without it being able to easily shake them off because you can just throw them right back or swarm them right back. And there are lots of enemies that you can just cheese by swarming them with a a pink Pikmin death squad. And it kind of invalidates everything. Like, the fact that they deal less damage re is really a non-factor. It's really keeping them from becoming absolutely bonkers broken. But as it stands, I wholeheartedly believe that this is the strongest Pikmin type in the history of the game. At the very least, purple Pikmin were very slow. They were hard to get because they were in caves. Uh, I'm kind of dreading this. Let's try pinks, I guess. Because maybe if they get bubbled, they can't die of falling off the ledge. This is really scary. I'm going to throw Pikmin at this till it is that. Okay, be very careful. Be very careful. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. We're, what was I talking about? Besides pink Pikmin being bonkers broken. Uh, at least purples were slow, and they they were super slow. They were only obtainable in caves, and you no, know, they didn't. They weren't immune to any hazards. Also, I can walk on this. I don't know why I'm acting like I can. You kill him. It looks like we're going to be turning on the sprinkler, and until then, we can't clear this out. Uh, Ochi, you can. Ah, uh, Ochi, you can. You stay there. I might have need of you. Really? You can't carry that? What? What? What are you doing? Also, that was really weird. Why can't he carry that? Oh, they can't carry the stuff that's on the mag? Oh, that's weird. Okay. Uh, you go kill him. You kill him. And you deal with that because and you guys come back because I don't want you guys dying of water because you will so you guys are on that we have a Ochi thing Ochi uh leave leave the uh, no leave the yellows thank you I really don't like that control scheme get thank you that, that is also a little bit annoying. Um, be you can fly? Okay, that's a weird downside of Ochi, is because they are obsessed with... You know what? I think I have a hack to this. Watch this. Wait for it. Okay, fine, 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 fine. Fine, fine, I give up, I give up. Ochi! 
I guess they're just about to solve the puzzle, but Ochi, I kind of... Fine. You know what? I'll, I'll just wait. I'll just wait. I'll just wait. You guys deal with that. Turn that. And then they can get across. That was really weird. That's a. That's not what I expected from Pink Big Ben. Like, they could have just flown over that hazard, but because they're with Ochi, because they want to jump on his back, you can't do that? Also, is that, is that going to stop? It is going to stop. Good. You did it. The fire's out. That dialogue was very important to say. Okay. You guys, for now... It's a weird hazard. Are you done? Kill it quick. Okay. Do that. And Ochi can join in a moment. In fact, uh, switch. Ochi, you're good. Get, get that. Deal with that. Yeah, they're, uh, Pikmin, Pikmin, Pikmin are just really weird. Um, I don't hate them, but I also do think that they're very broken, and I don't like it when a Pikmin type out, like, outright just infringes upon everything that another Pikmin stands for, and the fact that they do that to so many different kinds is not great. Also, I needed... Oh, you know what? Wait, 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 wait. I don't, I don't need yellow Pikmin for this. Go away. I can just do this. For some reason, they cannot come through the tube with me. Very weird. Also, for a moment, the, uh, the treasure lined up perfectly with the hole I was about to jump out of. That was very satisfying. Uh, that's a marker... this, and I can lower the bars. Okay. Now, what are we doing? There's no treasure up there. We have all the beasts. Do we really need Ochi for anything over here? Or is that just like a... I was really nervous about that. No, I don't think we do. In fact, I think we have all the treasure? Yeah, we're, we're fine. Uh, that's... You know, I was going to say it's nerve-wracking, but honestly, with Ochi, it's really nice. In any other Pikmin game, that would not have been possible. In fact, there were some puzzles in Pikmin in Pikmin 1, or some, some architecture, that was designed to have your Pikmin fall off the edge, despite you not having a very good method of getting them across, like, a peninsula like that. And it's, it's cool that Ochi exists, because he kind of invalidates that in a really nice way. Final sub-level. We, I really haven't seen the disco in this, and I'm scared. Whoa. Whoa. Now I see it. That's horrifying, and it was in the trailer. Wow. I'm getting some strong Metroid Prime vibes with this this boss. Oh, and it's making it's letting us make the first move. I hate it when they do that. Usually that means we're in for a bad fight. Uh, let's dismiss. Uh, actually, let's do this right. Let's flower as many of them as we can. I should have enough. I'm very tempted to use my glow Pikmin, but I don't think that's going to be necessary. Disband. Disband. Oh wait, that's not what I want. Disband. Uh, Ochi. Disband. And then merge the two groups. That's really awkward. I don't like how that works, but it is a waste. Let's make the first move. Let's make a good first move. Whoa! Okay. You know what? I don't- I'm not gonna be using the swarm mechanic anyway. Uh, uh, let's see what the interaction is with its feet when they climb up. That was a- ha! That was an air horn! This guy is really- Okay, you know what? All semblance of this guy being scary is gone. <laughs> That said, I'm gonna stay on Ochi. Zoom out a little bit. 
Get out of Ow! Step right on me. Come on. Get on OG. Make smaller her box. You know what? We're gonna do this. Swarm up to him. Get some free damage. such a weird enemy. He really is a disco enemy, though. There's the fog. Whoa! <laughs> this music is crazy. I, I never expected this out of a Pikmin game. Stay under him. Use what I know. He's no, he's no different from your average long legs. He just has a, a, a different flair. I just whistle him before he... he Yep, there we go. Get him in the loop. Get him in the loop. Stay in the middle. That's new. Come on. Get off. Swarm him. In fact, whistle him. Jump on. Whoa. Now that I'm outside of the dance, it's going to be hard for me to cut in. But would you mind? If I cut in? Would you mind if I pick this up a notch? Looks like I can't. Can you tango with me? Huh? Oh, they're dancing. Oh, it's a new status ailment. I wonder if Pikmin would be immune to this. God, it's confusing the Pikmin. Our best option in this situation is defeat the creature responsible. Oh, you know what? This isn't a new condition. Ow. Oh, keep on. Get out, get out, get out. Get out. We're cornered. Get away from the Splatoon music. Come on. So low. Let's drop the beat. Glad he can't knock me off. Kill him. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh no. I fell prey to one of the classic blunders. I. They're all mushroomized. This is not good. It's not good. It's not good. In fact, uh, I have enough pigment. I don't need woman. Oh, good. 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 Be dropped. What a wild enemy. What a wild enemy. That was nuts. And you know what? We've seen conditions like that. The, um... Oh, what is it called? The, um... It's not the anode beetle. Um, what is it called? Give me give me a second. I, I will consult the tome. And you might be asking, Pal, what is the tome? Uh, first of all, it's antenna beetle. The tome is my childhood Nintendo Power official Pikmin 2 guide. That is has dog-eared pages, bookmarks in it, and and a little bit of writing. It is um been a very strong companion by my side. And is that what I think it is? Is that the pluckophone? I think that's the pluckophone. But yeah, the um the puff stool had a an attack similar to that, as did the antenna beetle. Just ones that remove Pikmin from being able to be under your control. It's kind of kind of hits close to home. We only lost eight Pikmin. It felt like for the chaos of that, we should have lost more, but what a crazy cool boss. That was awesome. I, like, legitimately, I, I thought that was the, the sickest thing. It had a load of different attacks, and how many times do, especially in Pikmin, I guess, honestly, in just this franchise, do enemies just have kind of the same attacks? Uh, the, the Emperor Bullblax in... In Pikmin 1 had some attacks once it hit a certain health threshold, and this was sort of like that. I, I think that's awesome. It makes the feel fights feel so much more dynamic, and there was a point where he probably used like five different attacks, and they're all different, which I just said, but it bears repeating. He made, did the Mega Stomp that knocked you away, he had the the uh, the Rave Poison, the, the Ecstasy Gas, the Laughing Gas, I don't know. He had the the strobe lights, it was, it was sweet. Sai? This environmental ecologist joined the team to research Pikmin ecology and decipher their mysterious relationship to whistles.
Ah, the endless burden of the academic. Never satisfied unless they see with their own eyes and touch with their own hands and taste with their own tongue. I understand their desire, for I too share it. Let's go back to the surface. After a awesome cave, awesome boss fight, and a not so awesome Pikmin type. Let's go! Sparklium? Got a bunch of that. <laughs> what a strong start. How many Pikmin did we lose? I guess, really, the the true death toll happened at the end of today. We lost eight. That's not too bad. It It's nothing compared to how many we lost above ground, though. <sighs> no. I'm not taking out them. I'm taking out them. And some of them. Nah. Them. Oh, we're, we're to the countdown. Well then. That was a crazy day. What a what a slobber knocker that was. Oh, I can't get the plastic in time. Crazy day. We lost a, a lot of Pikmin. But we gained a new type. We now have pinks. <sighs> Let's look at the sunset. Wow. Colin wasn't kidding. I wish I looked at it earlier. <sighs> Let's look at the damage. I mean, the, the most upsetting thing about it, and you'll see it in a second, come on, yep, we got a lot of treasure, I, I'm Amplified Amplifier, doesn't look like it's an upgrading item, which makes sense, I guess, we lost 11 Ice Pikmin, and the reason why that's upsetting is, out of all the types, they're the ones whose breakpoints matter the most. I mean, if you have 39 Ice Pikmin and the puddle of water you want to freeze takes 40, you can't partially freeze it. You just can't progress without, you know, Ochi or Blues, but sometimes you need to freeze that. And so losing them when we don't have an Onion is catastrophic. We had, we could have frozen 50 or even 55 uh, Blue Pikmin or Ice Pikmin pools. Now we're stuck to 44. <sighs> and the worst part is I... I don't think I could have reacted in time. Even if I had reacted immediately, I... They probably wouldn't have gotten out of there. Granted, after it happened, I should have whistled them because another rock was coming, but... I was just in shock. Usually that kind of... Catastrophe isn't... Is anticipated. Oh well. Play it where it lies. That is interesting. So you press X and it orders the Pikmin to charge. The charging horn seems like a very useful piece of gear. Ah, oh, yes! The power of science is nothing to scoff at! It makes all things possible! See, if you change the frequency like this, now you can make anyone charge! Let me show you! What is happening? My body, it's like it's moving all by itself! Stop that. Stop that right now. What do you think you're doing, Russell? Kihi! I was just showing how I, you how I can control the world and cause riots of people to kill each other in wanton violence. You know, in case of emergency. Um. I will do everything in my power to make sure that emergency never ever occurs again. Ever. That's has some implications. Next time, tomorrow morning in Pikmin 4, if that ever comes after my surgery, we are going to cure our newest leafling and head back into this new area and ho hopefully conquer it. 
or, you know, subjugate it to our will and kill all natural wildlife because it was merely defending its home. But conquer it in the name of good and everything that is right in this world. See everyone in the morning. Good night. <laughs>